Hey guys, I'm back with another Q&A video because I haven't done one of these since I think October last year, so I felt it was about time to film a new one with some new questions. This time I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce usernames, especially because for this round of questions I got the weirdest, like funniest selection of usernames. In fact, one of them has a word in it that I can't really say on my channel. If your question is in here, you'll know it's yours, so. I have them all here on my laptop, so let's get right into it. How would you style flats without looking so girly? Help. There are a lot of types of flats and they don't always have to be traditionally girly. I assume you might be referring to ballet flats, but I would try out some flat sneakers, flat boots, flat brogues, loafers. Generally, you can get any shoe in a flat style, but if you want something similar to like a classic ballet flat, I would go for those little slip-on like loafer shoes that are very in at the moment. I see them around a lot. I imagine those might be a little bit less traditionally girly, so maybe try something like that. Have you ever worn bangs? Yes, we call it a fringe in Australia, but considering I'm in the US now, I guess like bangs is appropriate. Um, I haven't worn bangs in about four years. If you guys have been following my blog for a very, very long time, you will remember when I had a fringe. But yeah, too high maintenance, so not anymore. What kind of creative projects do you have? like drawing, sewing, designing, would you mind showing them? There are so many creative projects that I have or have had in the past. Designing, of course, like for my label, customizing clothing, I really like to do that. But the biggest like creative project related to me would probably be drawing. My classmates would always ask me to draw things for them. I also love painting, card making. I used to do a bit of scrapbooking. Art making in general feels like this secret hobby to me or something, like completely unintentionally secret, but just nobody really knows that I am really into that stuff, I feel, because there's no evidence of it. That's the thing with the internet, like, yeah, Pixar it didn't happen, so. If I have any photos of my old drawings and artworks, I will insert them here somewhere for you guys. Do you like winged eyeliner? Yes, of course. It looks great, especially when it's done well, but I feel like that kind of goes for like, any makeup. I think for me though, I'm no natural at eyeliner. I kind of suck at it, but at the same time, I've never really taken the time to learn. So that's why I do eyeshadow to kind of recreate something similar. But yeah, eyeliner is really nice. And I think when it's just subtle, like a subtle wing, that's my favorite. Um, do you have a diet or workout routine? I got a few questions about this, so I'm just gonna answer it all at once here. I'm not on any particular diet, although I would like to eat better. Talking about my workout routine is tricky because I feel like it changes so often. I don't wanna like publish it somewhere and that's like my official exercise routine because honestly it changes like month to month. But as a general overview that stays pretty consistent is that I try to exercise at least five days a week for a minimum of 30 minutes. Sometimes workouts will be up to 75 to 90 minutes. I occasionally run, I go to the gym. At home, I like to do yoga and workout DVDs. Do you like art? If yes, who are your favorite artists and why do you like them? Of course, I did visual arts as one of my three major works in the HSC, which is the high school certificate, which is like the final big exams you do at the end of high school here in, well, back home in Australia. <laughs> Other than design technology and drama, which were my other two major works, it was probably my favorite subject. I like so many artists and so many artworks, like I probably couldn't even list them all here if I was to think of every single artwork I've ever liked. But just to like name drop a few big ones that you've probably heard of before that I really, really like. Yayoi, Kusama, Man Ray. I really like surrealism. It's probably my favorite art movement, so. Salvador Dali, Vladimir Kush, Magritte. I also love the work by Ayano Sudo, who is a Japanese photographer. You guys should check her out on Instagram if you haven't already. I've been following her for quite a while now and her work is awesome. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have an angel named Champ and he's a rescue. Always buy rescue and never buy from pet shops, guys. Hi Sophie, when will you be releasing new products to your new label? Not rushing you, just wondering. <laughs> so cute. So most recently I released the new Crystal Heart pins. 
they come in four colors, ruby, sapphire, rose quartz, and amethyst. So you can check those out on my store now. I will be continuing to design for my label while I'm here in the US. So there is a small chance I may be able to release some items even while I'm here. I'm not quite sure yet, so we'll see. But in the meantime, as always, be following me on my social media for updates, especially Twitter. That's where I tend to talk about stuff the most. How do you get your nails that almond shape? I actually find it really challenging even filing my type of nails into an almond shape. But the biggest tip I have is to watch your nails from a bird's eye view while you're filing. Keep your nail file on an angle and just continue to repeat the stroke until you see the point form. Once it's starting to create a point towards the center of the nail, repeat it for the other side. The other thing is that you need to use a glass nail file, of course, it's the best way to go. I recently received a set of glass nail files from a brand called Mont Bleu, and I'm always a little bit skeptical about trying other brands of glass nail files because I have and they've failed terribly, but these ones are equally as good as ones I currently use, if not better. I also really appreciate that the set came with a mini version like this. So I can put this into my little like pouch to put in my handbag. I also was given a second set to give away to you guys. A link to the raffle copter giveaway will be below in the description. How are you so good at fashion? <laughs> well, I really don't consider myself an expert, but I think the reason that fashion and styling is one of my strong points is because I have a really astute visual memory and attention to detail. It's like for example, when I'm putting together a 90s inspired outfit, I don't just pick random things that are trendy, like a tattoo choker and a black velvet crop top and there we go, 90s outfit. I really like to pay attention to the details of what makes something authentic. I think also being a huge perfectionist is helpful, but perfectionism is both a blessing and a curse. What got you so into fashion? I've been into fashion ever since I was a little kid. I always liked to dress myself and choose my own outfits. My mom also used to dress us in nice brands and I think even as a kid I used to take note of what the labels were. I remember having this Kenzo matching skirt and long sleeve top. And it's just so funny because like Kenzo has become such like a trendy brand now and it's like I was wearing that when I was seven. But I do remember when I was maybe 12 or 13 years old I started reading my mum's copies of Vogue magazine and that's when I started paying attention to designers and runaway collections. I even remember this particular issue of Vogue that I have and I read it so many times. 2005 issue of Vogue Australia I'm pretty sure and it has Gem Award on the cover and I still have that exact copy at home. So that's all the questions I'll be answering today. If you guys ever have any other questions you can always ask me on Tumblr, you can always tweet me or you can email me but Twitter is pretty much the number one place to contact me. I will reply to all questions I get on there mostly. As always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!